Napoleon Dynamite was one of the most unlikely hits of 2004, or any other year really. Directed by 25-year-old Jared Hess and starring a bunch of mostly unknowns, the quirky indie comedy was difficult to categorize, and against all odds, it grossed $44 million against a $400,000 budget. So, why won't Hollywood make a Napoleon Dynamite sequel? Too Busy Hunting Wolverines Napoleon Dynamite led to a brief but fruitful period for star John Heater. He starred in a string of comedies that included Just Like Heaven, The Benchwarmers, and Blades of Glory. Heater has since switched gears, putting his distinctive cadence to use as a voice actor. Hello. He's racked up more than a dozen credits for work on animated movies, TV cartoons, and video games. Also a major time suck for Hida, the man has a whole mess of kids. And while director Jared Hess can't seem to find much support for his own films, he's still a director in demand for other folks' projects. He's helmed a few movies written by people other than himself or his wife, like the 2016 comedy Masterminds, and is slated to direct the next long-awaited entry in Jackie Chan's comedic Shanghai trilogy. Studios only want directors with skills. Even still, Jared and Jerusa Hess have continued to make one-of-a-kind movies in their own style and flavor, but they just don't put butts in seats. Among their efforts, the luchador comedy Nacho Libre, the fantasy fiction send-up Gentleman Broncos, and the caper comedy Don Verdine. The directors have a unique vision, but they've had a hard time attracting sizable audiences. Case in point, Gentleman Broncos grossed just $113,000, which is about three times as much as Don Verdine pulled in. And that's despite both films having the comedy star power of fan favorites Sam Rockwell and Jermaine Clement. The director doesn't flip and feel like it. Napoleon Dynamite is a classic example of lightning in a bottle, which nobody understands better than Jared Hess, so he doesn't even really want to try making a sequel. In 2010, he told Star Pulse that because the movie was conceived as a one-time deal, a sequel wouldn't work, saying, When sequels are an afterthought, they usually end up being bad, but when they were originally intended to have multiple films made up of the same story, I think it works. In other words, What are you gonna do today, Napoleon? Whatever I feel like I want to do. Gosh! The cartoon bombed. Eight years after its auspicious big screen debut, Napoleon Dynamite did get a sequel of sorts, an animated TV series. Six episodes ran on Fox in the spring of 2012, and the entire main cast reprised their original roles. The show finished the 2011-12 season at number 103 in the ratings, after which it was quietly cancelled. Dang it! You guys are idiots! Napoleon lives on. Audiences were able to pay another unofficial visit to Napoleon Dynamite's universe courtesy of an ad campaign that aired shortly after the film's theatrical run. In days of yore, the Utah State Fair didn't have sweet rides, like the Scrambler, Rocco Plane, the Octopus. John Heeder and Efren Marirez reprised their characters a few more times in a series of TV spots promoting the 2005 Utah State Fair. Also making a cameo? Delicious Tots. That kangaroo looks pretty good. It's a Totzilla, and it should look good. I baked my butt off. Never has a fictional character loved the potato nuggets as much as Napoleon. The movie is so connected with Tater Tots that in 2016, Burger King recruited Hida and Ramirez to star in a commercial for the chain's latest offering, Cheesy Tots. It's too late. Napoleon Dynamite is pretty much a high school movie, and following the film's characters as they all tackle college and marriage just doesn't seem like it would be a very rewarding project. And if all of the characters are still somehow living in the same small town that never escaped the late 80s, wandering ever closer to death, well, the audience has already seen how they behave in that environment. There's just not a lot more to say, and watching Napoleon slowly lose his trademark cloud of hair to old age just seems depressing. At least we'll always have the original. Always and forever. Thanks for watching. Click the looper icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.